Hello, wonderful people. It's me again. Oh, my hair. Oh, my gosh. Kayla, camera ready. <laughs> what do you guys think of my new uniform? I feel like I'm going home. <laughs> I feel like a student again. All this week, I've been craving chocolate. I don't know why. In last month's Geek Gear, I was lucky enough to get some chocolate frog molds. I was so pleased with it. So I was totally inspired to make these for you guys. So without further ado, let's head on down to the kitchens and I will show you how to make them. So wonderful people, for the following recipe, you are going to be needing Rice Krispies, marshmallows, white chocolate, dark chocolate, writer's white chocolate. You will also be needing some food coloring. Blue for Ravenclaw, red for Gryffindor, yellow for Hufflepuff, green for Slytherin. And don't forget your chocolate frog molds. To start with, take your dark chocolate and melt it. Now take your chocolate frog molds and begin to coat them in the chocolate. I used a pastry brush to help me do this. It just helps to give it a bit more of an even coat. Once you are satisfied with the thickness, put these in the fridge or in a cool place to set. Now take your white chocolate and melt that too. Then get your marshmallows and melt them as well. Should take about 30 seconds in a microwave. Once you've done this, combine your marshmallows with your Rice Krispies and your white chocolate and mix. My gosh, that looks yummy. I'm salivating already. When these are all combined, divide the mixture into four separate bowls and add your food colouring. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. Ah, oh, look, there's the fourth bowl, so that one will be green for Slytherin. After about half an hour, you can take your chocolate frogs out of the fridge and begin to fill. Make sure that none of the filling actually goes above the level of the frog because otherwise, when you cover it with chocolate, your frog will end up with a lumpy bottom. And nobody likes those, do we? Kim Kardashian. Now take the rest of your melted dark chocolate and begin to cover the frogs. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the most satisfying part of doing this. I feel like I'm doing a Cadbury's advert. <laughs> Once you've done this, make sure that you give your chocolate frogs a nice little tap. This will help to get rid of any air bubbles that might be hiding inside your chocolate frogs. Oh, yep, yeah, look at that, I had quite a few. <laughs> Once you've done that, put these in the fridge and wait for them to set. Once they're set, you can begin to decorate. Hooray! Now, if like me, you weren't very accurate at pouring chocolate over your frogs, don't worry about it, you can chip these off after they've set. This is the part where you need your white writing icing and you can decorate away to your heart's content. In my case, I got really overly excited and began to get the sprinkles out. Ooh, I love sprinkles. And once you've done all of this, your chocolate frogs are finished. And when you bite into them, the best part is being able to find out what Hogwarts house you'll be in. These are great for little parties or just to pig out on like I did last night. Anyway guys, that is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Not gonna lie, I really enjoyed it. And eating it, this was a really yummy video to make. If you guys liked it, please remember to give it a nice big thumbs up. And if you want to see more Harry Pottery weird things that I do in the future, please remember to hit that subscribe. You can also follow me on my social media, which is in the links below. I'm just gonna eat one of these now, I actually can't refuse. <laughs> Yes! I am still a Slytherin. Also, there is still time if you'd like to ask me anything for next week's video. So if you have any burning questions for me, let me know in the comments below or through other social media. <laughs> I've run out of things to say. But for now, I will see you next time. Slytherin out. Bye, muggles. <laughs>